Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, it's uh, Monday. Another Monday, and uh, I didn't intend to, to do this video this way. I, uh, I had some transportation difficulties, and I had to seek alternate means of getting to where I want to get. So I had to cross one Taco Bell off the list, had to go to this one, and uh, I figure why not, you know, we'll just bring a little HD camera along, a little mini tripod set up, and uh, review it anyways. <clears throat> you know, I'll go to good lengths in, uh, in order to get a review out for all of you, so here we are again. We're here at Taco Bell, and uh, I've been meaning to try this item for a bit, but I haven't had the chance, just haven't had the opportunity, other things have came up, and... Uh, I've kind of taken priority in that regard. But anyways, now it's finally uh, finally arrived. We're here trying it out. If you're somewhat curious at least as to what it is exactly that I will be trying out. It is the Double Dia from Taco Bell. And that's right, the Double Dia. The name comes from a play on the word, of course, quesadilla. With uh, people, of course, saying Double Dia. You know, it's, it's double the whatever you may have in a quesadilla. In this case, probably garbage. But uh, nonetheless, here we are. Uh, first things first, really, uh, really surprised me when I, uh, when I bought it. I thought it was just gonna be this, uh, like a taco, you know, like a taco, like a wrap of some sort, or, you know, whatever it might be. But uh, I get this box. Let me try to hold it. I get this giant box here, and I say, oh, great. Anyway, they're trying to do a play on, on formality here, you know, step one, do this, step two, do that. Drink a, the drink with your pinky up, you know, and uh, they don't even, they say fancy-ish, because we all know there's nothing fancy about eating Taco Bell. All right. Fact of the matter, here's what it comes with. I can't really hold the box up, so I just hold the components up. For whatever reason, they give you chips. give you something to dip the chips in. Alright. And then of course you get your double D's. Alright. How we're gonna uh, manage this. Oh they cut it into little slices. Okay, we'll just grab a slice of it then and we'll eat it. Okay. Now the double D <coughs> The Double D comes in chicken or steak, and I went with steak, that's what all the pictures feature, I figure that's what more people would be inclined on knowing, so uh, that's what we got. The Double D, of course, has a blend of different cheeses, a, uh, I believe a potentially spicy sauce, and of course it has the steak inside. You can see in the cross section the mixture of cheese and the steak, uh, we'll just try it, and we'll let you know how it tastes like, and that's that. Going in. Utterly repulsive. Look, uh, I don't even want to take another bite of this. I mean, I. I'm tempted in taking this whole thing and throwing it in the trash right now. I gotta bite this to cleanse my palate. One more bite, fine. I'm not looking forward to it, but fine. Just, 
absolutely horrible, disgusting, repulsive, horrible. I knew it was going to be bad. I, I knew. I blatantly knew going in. I just, number one, didn't know how much they would actually give you. Well, number two, I just didn't know just how bad. I don't know I put the receipt. We'll find the receipt at some point. <clears throat> well, here's what it tastes like. Of course, you get the steak. There's this little spicy, maybe chipotle sauce that gives a little spice to it. And then cheese. And then more cheese. And then, you know, so much thereof. If you watch the uh, the video where I was talking about the the new wrap that they came out with, or that they brought back, of the, you know, the spicy, crispy wrap, you remember me saying how this cheese was really what ruined it. Well, imagine getting a, you know, a little tortilla full of only that cheese with a few pieces of disgusting ta tasting steak. Enjoy. Bon appetit. You know? Absolutely repulsive. Alright, what does it taste like? In more detail, of course. So, what you have is really you, uh, you know, you bite in. Of course, I was describing that, uh, you know, how that cheese exactly tastes. It's got this plasticky type of texture. Um, it's really the texture that's horrible. It has this real fake cheese taste, um, very bland. Um, it has this, this real sticky, gooey, plasticky texture. You get it on your teeth, you get it in your roof of your mouth, your tongue, and you can't get that out, you know. You've got to eat something else to get that cheese out of your mouth. It is disgusting, horrible, horrible quality. Um, no better than what you'd find in a can, even, even worse than that. All right? Horrible quality cheese. And I'd say this is about 90% cheese. That ruins it, absolutely. Should they have used anything higher quality? It would have been, you know, much better. But, uh, you know, just blatantly, it's, it's uh, you know, it's awful. Um, I mean, you know, they say Taco Bell, they put in some steak there, too. You know, nothing good about that, either. Uh, you know, the steak itself is just very bland. It's covered in that cheese, so any flavor that it might ha have, it's just, you know, completely dull. Um, nothing to it, it's just now it's just these solid globs covered in cheese. That's about it. Otherwise, uh, you know, there's a little Chipotle type hot, sp uh, hot sauce in there. It gives it a little spice, not enough. Really, nothing could just save it from what this is. Um, it's absolutely horrible, and uh, that's the only thing to say you can describe it. I think I've already tried their chips in another review, so I don't think we really need to talk about them, but I'll eat one for the heck of it. Since high school, dude, but I saw that shit about uh, what was it? Oh, what was it? Uh, Tash Point Up. Yeah, yeah. Dude, no, congratulations, man. Hey, thank you. Dude, no, keep up the good work. Man. Oh, thanks. Hey, you have a good one now. Good. Now, continuing on though, with the chips. Um, really, that's the only thing that that's good about it. Um, you know, you got the the chips. They have a little bit of a salt to it, a little bit of crunchiness. I mean, if you're going to get this, which you shouldn't, but if you're going to get this, throw it out and just take the chips. Well, take the chips out before you throw it out, of course, and that's the best thing. Don't even bother eating it. Eat the chips. There's just no reason to get it in the first place. There's so many nicer things from Taco Bell. Just get those instead, and that's all that I have. I'm trying to find this receipt, ladies and gentlemen. I know they gave me one. I remember, here it is. Okay. This was a uh, $4.99 wasted. I mean, I understand the price. They give you, you know, two of those whole servings of the uh, double dealer, and they give you the chips. I mean, the value is okay, but it's just not worth it for what it tastes like. Just get, get some chips if you want chips. Um, don't bother with this. There's so many nicer things you can get, and that's what I got. Now, out of 10, what am I going to be rating this? Well, out of 10, I figure, ooh, 
really nothing good to it whatsoever except for the chips, but we're here to talk about the double D and not the chips. So out of 10, I'm just going to be giving this a, uh, you know, let's say a, a 4.9 out of 10. Just because of price, it is worth it. At least you get some good chips, but otherwise it's, there's nothing to it. That's all I got for you. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and that concludes this review. That's all I got. You take care, and I'll see you later. camera shutting off? No, it's not? Alright, let's try it again.